Hello guys, it's Charge Henry Yucca here. I am driving home. I got food because being in the triple triple digits at work, not eating anything all day, uh, which is hard when you're working in the heat. Um, I've got like three beef and bean burritos. And yes, I'm going to eat all three of them because my hunger is starting to come back to me. Um, I recorded a video last night. Uh, I was having one of those days. One of those bad days. I had a plan to just beat Radagon and the Elden Beast, then go after Moog, uh, or, you know, or Mo, um, you know, Moog, Mog, whatever. Go after him, excuse me. And then go after, uh, the, uh, go after Melania. Well, when I did the recording for the, the, the battle against Moog, I will admit that that is the quickest I've ever taken out Moog when I fought him. And I've played Elden Ring since its release, and I, it consumed me when I was playing it on the PS4. Because uh, I know I screwed up my first character. And basically Red Squid came back to it. And then played the same character, New Game Plus, several times. Then started a brand new character. And then kind of left it at that. But um, this is why when I, I bought rebought it for the Xbox One. And when I said in the video I had 400 plus hours. I wasn't kidding. I have... I haven't... Not, not an exact number, but adding up all the hours ranged up to 400, 400 plus hours. And uh, with what I got on the Xbox One right now is a hundred, a little over a hundred hours. And the person in front of me doesn't know what the speed limit is. Um, but I can't pass. But, um, I came home from work, did all my normal chores and whatever else, and I'm sitting there ready to take on Rad uh, Radagon and Yeldon Beast, and man, it took, by the time I did the recording, I had already faced him, spent like two, two and a half hours fighting him. And I came close to beating both of them three times because majority of the times uh, that I would in start the fight, I would end up getting killed immediately. Lightning bolt, come in, grab me, hammer, hammer, done. Or come in, lightning bolt, lightning dart attack, hammer, knock me out of the air uh, like I was a tennis ball and then come in and just crush me. That, that, that was a lot because I even showed the encounter in, 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 uh, in that video where I did the, I do the same thing every time and how I've always how I've always fought him because it was a lot easier um, but I was like saying too, fighting him, so if I would have had my PS4 character, I would be wiping the floor with him, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not using my PS4 character, because that's just overkill, if you want to go for a challenge, hence why we started over and bought Elden Ring on the, fir on the Xbox One, and we're playing it on the Xbox One, and we're going for a challenge. And I've changed the build quite a bit. Uh, ended up with the Dex Arcane build. Because that seemed to work the best. And you're going the exact same way I'm going. And that just irritates the dog shit out of me. But uh, people are going to take that out of context. But um, if you don't know how to drive... Don't worry about the stuff back there. If you don't know how to drive, get the hell off the road. Oh, 
oh now you know what a gas pedal is now you're gonna now you're gonna speed up nope you're gonna drive slower in a pet coop But, um, yeah, I've, I've talked about, it. like, I was, I was pretty tired being up 20 plus hours. I'm, I'm using that as my excuse. Being up at 2 a.m. in the morning, getting home late in the afternoon, or getting inside late in the afternoon, and, uh, yeah, thinking, ah, oh, this shouldn't take too long. Two and a half, three hours later, decided to take a break from getting my ass handed to me for two and a half hours, and then go after Moog, and then beat him in a couple minutes, and literally within like two minutes, fastest I've ever beat him. I'm not gonna uh, like. I'm using. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you. Because you guys will see the video eventually. And I'm not going to just upload it for everybody to see right now. But uh, I, I'm using the Cursed Sword. Morgoth's Cursed Sword. And the Omen Blade. I, like, I ended up doing some research. It's like, man. It does the Omen Blade and uh, the Cursed curse Sword really work? And it, it's pretty useful. I actually... I actually do like using both of them. They work really well together. But, man, I was I, I couldn't even, like, I even challenged Radagon and the Elden Beast plenty of times during that video. Because the video is like 30 minutes long. Of me constantly trying, getting close, getting to the Elden Beast and just getting completely destroyed. Um, and having to, to start over. And getting that point where that arrogant stubbornness gets to you to where, you know what, I'm going to keep grinding at this prick, at these two pricks, and, and eventually the game's going to let me win. No. The game ain't going to let me win. It's going to up the ante. No. Then, I was like, I don't know, does a lightning talisman plus one really work? I don't know. Let's let's encrypt that bullshit. Uh, you know what? We're in Kaled. Maybe there's something in Kaled that uh, uh, you know. Go look it up. Like, oh, the holy damage negation thing is there. Ah, so I better go looking for that. Found that. Did that really help? No, not really. A little bit, but not much. Still took a lot of damage. Still ended up wasting a lot of potions. And, uh, ended up losing, let's see, we got, with the Mimic's help, help, I got the Elden Beast down, down to, like, a quarter of its health. I had no healing potions left by that time, and all it took was spamming the skill of the, the Curse Sword, and then doing a couple jumping attacks to get that that big damage in to where I actually beat it. So it took three more attempts in a total of three and a half hours to beat those two. Even though it, ne no, it never really took me that long to beat it before. But, uh, to beat them before. But... It took me three and a half hours to beat to beat Radagon and the Elden Beast. And I have a character, like I showed the stats of my character. My character's uh, over like 200. Maybe two or, uh, actually right now, if I go to do a little bit, uh, I'm thinking. My character is right around 205 right now, I believe. And all the points I've, I've, I've had, uh, I've literally thrown into Arcane. I did think about choosing a different weapon and going to a, a Strength Arcane build. Or a Strength Faith build, or whatever Balakut's sword is. 
and I can use I can uh, use his sword. I just need a, a large amount of strength. But uh, no, I did upgrade it to plus ten or plus nine or ten, but uh, I didn't end up using it. Then I acquired weapons, uh, a weapon that I didn't know of when after I had beaten uh, beaten Radagon and the Elden Beast I still can't pass him <laughs> I still can't pass him but um, I, uh, I I couldn't uh, I can't even remember the sword is but right by the uh, castle uh, where you fight Sol to get that medallion to go into the uh the Halcrest tree to, to get to Melania. Um, I'm probably saying it all wrong uh, at this point. I don't care because it's fucking Friday. But um, they had like a, like a one of the Mariners and I, I fought that boss and I, I took it out and I acquired a sword from it. I don't remember the sword. The sword is. It's a great sword. I never fought that boss before in 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 that area, but uh, I am going to be at least. I'm hoping I can beat Soul pretty easily, so I can get to Melania because Melania is probably going to be a long video. Because I'm going to assume since I've never fought her before. Melania is going to absolutely whoop my ass. Go whoop my ass. Or what's left of my ass. She's going to whoop it. But, yeah, I've, uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff. And I'll, I'll admit in this video right now, I've been doing a lot of grinding on Ark when I'm not pointing my frustrations towards Elden Ring and the bosses uh, the constant grinding on there uh, the one boss that I've been building an army to beat isn't no longer there he despawned which sucks because that was going to be the video I was going to record next of me with some new acquired allies meaning creatures because I play Ark solo. And, uh... And, uh... Try and kick his butt. But, he despawned. So... Yeah. I will say this. For the, anyone who's played Ark, or played Docs, sometimes when you take 10 step forward you end up getting knocked on your ass or sent flying 20 feet back. That's what happened. I was, I was, I had a really good wyvern. I was really happy with it. I had a, I had a chibi. I even had a chibi for it to get the chibi boost. And, uh, obviously I had the, uh, saddle, saddle and everything. Uh, it was a, it was a pretty decent wyvern, a nice wyvern. Yeah, that didn't last very long because somebody ended up getting a little close to a mega dragon and got fireballed out of the sky. So all my wins went to absolutely nothing because I couldn't find the body and I couldn't find the bag. So. Yeah, all the loot I had gathered on that on that wyvern is no longer there. It's gone, and I I got a lot of loot, especially the uh, other mana core saddle. It wasn't the the greatest. The I think it was like a, a seventy four percent armor saddle ascendant for the mana core, and. Uh, I, uh, I couldn't, uh, 
I, I had it all, all all the loot on the wyvern. So when I, well, he got knocked out of the sky by a fireball, uh, that was gone. I, I couldn't find the bag at all, or the body. So uh, I even looked in the ocean. And that was that, that proved useless. But now I'm I'm literally on my way home right now. I'm gonna be getting within a few blocks of it but uh, I just wanted to come up here and talk about talk a little bit and another thing too that I want to put towards the end of this video and even though I've rambled on about Elden Ring and whatever and a little bit about Ark and how hot it's been um, I've been I've been noticing a lot of a lot of uh, pretty nice comments I've been I've, I've been I, I'm very appreciative of that so I, I appreciate you for all those for uh, for those who left all those comments for also a couple of my friends who've, who've left some pretty good comments but uh, I don't know if the channel is going to go anywhere and plus I didn't even know that I had 2.6k videos but I will be honest with you uh <laughs> Uh, Char did a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of looking through the channel when he first, uh, when he, uh, back in, what was it, back in 2019 when I started uploading again? Yeah, in 2019, I, uh, I deleted a lot of videos. So I probably should be a lot closer to 3,000 videos. But, I, uh, yeah, I've, um... I probably should be a lot closer to 3k but I, I'm sure I'll hit 3k soon considering that I'm still a month ahead a whole month ahead so, and um, and uh, last weekend I don't I wasn't able to record at all because of the because of the weather the weather decided it was gonna knock the power out so I wasn't able to record so I'm going to try and make up for it this weekend while uh, playing the Elden Ring DLC when I beat Melania, which I'm going to try to do tonight, uh, or at least try to get to her and uh, try and beat her and come up with a strategy to, to try to beat her, but um, I think I left in that video like anyone has any tips or anything or what talismans to look for. Um, to make things a little bit better uh, to improve on damage or ne damage negation that would be pretty pretty helpful uh, I never really went despite the amount of time I put on Elden Ring especially when I was basically consumed by it because it was all that I played when it came out um, yeah, that would be surprising to my friends because I stopped playing Ark because Elden Ring came out and I was consumed by it. Um, I never really acquired all the talismans. I never did. And I never really used all of the talismans either. I've, I've switched my talismans out more times than I ever did when I first played. When I first played it. But... I just wanted to say thank you for all the nice comments. I do appreciate that. I do look at the comments. Um, I don't... When it comes to doing this sort of thing and, and doing what I'm doing, even though I work a full-time job, I get up at 2 a.m. in the morning every day uh, and still try and manage to find time to make videos and also upload and keep a schedule... Um, I do, I do look at some things. I don't look at all of the analytics and the numbers. I don't pay attention to that. I don't. I don't look at it because I want to enjoy this. I want to enjoy doing this. Once I consider it a job, it's, it's not going to be that fun anymore. I want to be able to enjoy this to where I could take my mind off of things. Uh, you know, like, take my mind off of the reality of things. Like paying bills and shit like that. And just being able to sit there, play a game, record, talk, whatever, and just have fun. Because that's that's what we should be doing this for, is, is for fun. We shouldn't be treating this like a job, 
you, whether we get paid for it or not, we should just be doing it to have fun. Uh, to try and make other people's days a little better. Even if it's just a bit. Make it better. Um, but I'm going to end it here. I'm, I got some food to eat. I got a dog to take care of. And uh, I got a boss to get to. And bosses to defeat. And, uh, and the DLC to get to. I will tr probably record it. It'll, it'll depend on what I what I decide because if I do record it, a lot of the videos that you'll probably see at some point will be mostly Elden Ring, <laughs> and eventually, and then there'll be some random ones thrown in. But uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna sit there and just dump a hell of a lot of Elden Ring related videos right off the bat. Like even though know, the DLC came out yesterday, uh, but even though it's supposed to come out today. But anyway, again, thank you. I do appreciate it. Appreciate the comments. I do, you know, I do appreciate you guys for all your support. I do appreciate you. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.